Hey there everybody, welcome to the website, waynedefrancesco.com. If you're not a club member, please join. Here's a member, a longtime student. We've been working about almost two years. His name is Justin Duffy. He played football for the University of Maryland. Uh, he's 20, no, he's 30 years old now and loves golf. And when he came to me, he was one unhappy camper because he was struggling. He had been taking lessons, and his swing was, well, you'll see what it's like. Plus, he's a big guy. He's a good athlete, though. And this is a perfect example of a natural swing being unable to hit shots as you see them or visualize them, the swing needed. And, and it's still we're still working on it, but uh, I think you'll see a pretty amazing transformation and then I'm going to go to uh, our last lesson and just do some uh, show you what we were working on a little more specifically but but take a look at his swing so certainly for a big guy he can move around pretty good and if you watch you'll notice there is some funkiness going on here so sort of that looks pretty odd and then you can see there's a a major issue with the right arm. So it tends to put it on and then put it on the ball and then the finish looks a little bit odd. So here's where it really gets interesting. And he could hit the ball like this and didn't quite know where it was going but there were times where he could really hit it. You can see the motion is there but the mechanics aren't there and however it came about you never know why swings evolve into what they are but one thing is for sure you really can't take this type of a swing and leave much of it untouched so when people start saying you know gee can't you just work with what I have you know I try not to be a smart ass but what I'm really thinking is well <laughs> Look what you got, you know, you don't have much to work with, well, you know, which is a more politically correct way uh, of saying, dude, you got nothing. <laughs> so, but, you know, he was at wit's end. He, he said, look, you know, he even had his pro call me and said, look, I need help or, or you know, Justin needs help and he's not really getting any, so see what you can do with him. Now this is a, now we're talking two years worth of lessons. So these are some intractable, well you'll see it's not intractable, but man you talk about stubborn, difficult, I mean this this stuff was ingrained because he was a practicer, you know, he would he'd beat balls and try to get better. So let's take a look at what his swing looks like now. Let's see here. Oops. You know, I should know how to work this thing better. I've only been doing it for years. <laughs> All right, let's go back where we were. I know you're excited to see this, as I am. All right, now we're ready. So here's the front view now. And here's the back view. Now when I tell you that he can he can move the thing now. So that was a pretty good looking swing. And if I tell you that, uh, trust me, we worked on every single part of the swing pretty much from start to finish. Now he goes out sometimes and doesn't play so well and other times he's shot par. He's done pretty well. Now let's see a quick a quick side to side here. So I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. And I'm going to put that I'm going to put that first swing up here. Now he's lost some weight. You can see that. So 
that takeaway took a while. <laughs> that backswing, boy. And when you start thinking about, you know, if you followed my stuff of what I would be trying to teach him, you can see that he's kind of doing all this stuff. Now he had a he had a real tendency to lower anyway, so but not very much. Now watch how he moves. Now you take a guy that weighs 240 pounds and strong as an ox and you get him loaded into the ground. If we can get his arms to come in a little better, he's just going to maul the thing. He's already flying it out there, you know, 280, 290. But notice the takeaway. Much better. Look at that position compared to this one. Check this out at the top. Now, the biggest thing, you know, after we, the backswing, I always tell people the backswing is about mechanics. You're not moving all that fast. It takes three times as long to get back as it does to hit the ball. The transition and the forward swing are the difficult parts to fix. They're the athletic part. So watch this movement over here on the right. Take a look at this right arm. Now you talk about reverse right arm action. That's about as bad as it can get with somebody that can play golf. Now I'm not you know, trying to bust on Justin, although he's probably laughing and he's watching this. <laughs> but this is why he, he just struggled some days. He just could not hit the ball. I mean, look where that arm is going. Now I'm telling you, he was practicing a lot then. And he's really practicing a lot now. So you watch that arm way better. But he would see this and go, damn, still not, you know, I'm still not driving that arm in and flattening that shaft the way I want to. Look where that is. Now, these are changes that don't happen by themselves without a ton of work. And it's technique work, and it requires practice. It requires drills. It, it requires time and attention, understanding. I've had to talk him down off the ledge two or three times where he felt like he couldn't get it, couldn't do it. But you know what? He hung in there, stuck with it, and man, it's working a lot better now. So, now let's go back and take a look at that front view and side by side it again. And again, we'll see a huge, huge difference. Now, as we get into the hitting area, this is what I wanted to show you about uh, what we did in our last lesson, because it's just, these are the things you, you see, you pick out what to work on as you go. So, yeah, we pounded on some stuff time after time, but... In this case, you know, we're looking at the swing getting a lot better. So what I would like to see right here are the hands up to the line and the club up in the air. See the full lesson for free at waynedefrancisco.com.